one of the things that many people do is they do not want to believe in God because they feel that if they believe in God, it's a set of rules, it's a doctrine, and they have no other choices, and by becoming a Christian, they're becoming a complete robot. This is called the sacredness of choice. It's also called the ethical straitjacket. Some of your friends might believe in this. You might have been somebody who truly believed in this. And maybe you're here today and you're like thinking, I kind of like this Christianity thing. I like that I get out of hell free card. But like all this other stuff, like I'm not really down with it. Here's what many people feel. People online, people on Facebook, people on Instagram, your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, your unbelieving uh, friends in your life. Many people not only feel that it is important to have personal choice, they believe that if they obey the Ten Commandments simply because they are told, I have to, then I'm just a zombie and a robot. So people say, I don't want to do what other people tell me to do. I'm my own person, right? Especially in America. In the Western individualistic society we live in, I am my own kingdom. It's me incorporated. Okay? They believe that if they obey the Ten Commandments, they're going to be a zombie, they're a robot, and we want choice, right? My body, my rights, my choice, my way, or the highway, peace out. Okay? People say, you're not a human being unless you decide what is right and wrong. There's this belief that unless it's my choice, what is right or wrong. I'm not being an authentic person. And this is authentic, authenticity. It's all the rage. I want to be spiritual. I don't want to be religious. I want to be spiritual. Whatever that means. It's a religion as well to be spiritual. I'm not an authentic person. And therefore, any institutionalized religion is by definition ruled out, including Christianity. You guys are nice people. Cool. We can have coffee. I can come to your church. It's all good. I don't want to be a robot like you. I don't want to be a zombie. You're super zombified. All these Ten Commandments, so many rules. Like, it's such a difficult life you have. Look at me. I do whatever I want. Well, here's the challenge or the objection that you and I are faced with when we're dealing with people who don't believe in God. People say, I have got to make this decision for myself. Or people say, nobody can tell me what is right or wrong for me. We've all heard this. Well, here's the thing about this. It sounds to me that what you really want is choice for you and not for everybody else. And that's simply not fair. Let me give an example. If you're speaking with a person who says that they need to make their, right, their, their own choices and their own choices, their own sovereign will, I don't want any institutionalized religion telling me what to do, I would say, Okay, you know these people over here who are like murdering people? Yes, what do you think of that? Oh, it's horrible. By what standard? Why do you think it's bad to kill people? Well, what do you mean? It's, of course it's bad, you're taking people's lives. Oh, no, no, I agree it's bad, but why do you feel that it's bad? Well, because it's wrong. Oh, you think it's wrong? So it sounds to me that you have a particular ethical dilemma and that you yourself have some sort of thoughts about right and wrong. And what's really happening is that when you do something right or wrong, you can choose whatever it is that you want to do. But if somebody else is doing something right or wrong, then, then they cannot. So what you really want is choice for you and not for everybody else. That's just simply not fair. What happens, is it okay for somebody to break into your car to steal all your money? No, I don't like that. Is it bad? Yes. By what standard? I recently saw a Christian uh, parody website say that uh, a, a, a self-proclaimed motorcycle rider who identifies as a bicyclist won the Tour de France. He identified himself, he's, he's on a motorcycle. We have a couple people who ride motorcycles in our church. They're a lot faster than bicycles, I would say that. And he said, I'm a bicycle, and I will go to Tour de France, and I don't need any doping or anything else, and I will win. The sacredness of choice. I've got to make this decision, and nobody can tell me what to 
do. I would say, look, you can point out something is wrong. Yes, I can. Let me, let me talk to you about Jesus. Let me, let me invite you into a conversation. Let me, let me have a conversation with you. Let's, let, look, I'm not promising you anything. Just, just start reading your Bible. Just come to church with me. Just check it out. What did Jesus say? He said, come and see. Come and see. 